now get the fuck up. I'm Mark uh, Jesuit Cheban here with Jordan Nothing Gilbert with Evil Genius. I'm not going to shake your hand, but <laughs> fine. But uh, first off, I want to ask you about your tournament coming up here. We just watched UMX Spank Dink. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. I thought Dink would definitely become a little, uh, come a little more mentally prepared. It seems like they slipped up a lot, so sucks for them. But yeah, we will be playing UMX tomorrow, and uh, I mean, got to watch them. I feel confident still, but obviously not not going to try to get too confident here. Going to go into it with a balanced mindset, you know, to try to play solid, consistent. Now, you know, coming into this, a lot of people expected Dink to come out strong. You know, there are a lot of veterans, you know, Asian, Pauly, J-Stone. Are you kind of surprised to see them go out in the, in the first round like that? Well, it's double elimination. Well, go out, drop to the lower bracket. I know, I know what you mean. I'm just making sure. Um, uh, yeah, actually, I am. But like I said, it, it's it's interesting. A team can show up with that talent, but like if you're not focused on the right stuff, you're not. There's going to be chances for the team to do that to you. And UMX seems to be really well prepared. So I'm not saying like Dink still could be full of more skilled players. You know, they might play better the rest of the tournament. But right there, for some reason, they weren't focused. So they it's, it's up to them to pick their shit up. So yeah. Now, uh, what are your thoughts of, about facing UMX in particular? I mean, we talked kind of about your thoughts on that match, but, you know, tomorrow you're going you're gonna to be playing UMX. What, what's, what's going through your head? Um, well, we've been playing them online before, so all I'm thinking is really about our stuff. Um, Light and Inferno are both maps we have our stuff down on. So, like I said, we just need to focus on our game and not really deviating much, and then all changes will be made on the fly at the at the moment, you know, not looking to change much right now. Now, I, I see you're wearing your Gunners uh, right here. Uh, well, it, I, I guess it's kind of kind of nerdy what you're doing right there. But, you know, you're, you've been on the billboard for billboards for Gunner. The, you've been, you know, I would say maybe kind of an evangelist for him, kind of ambassador. an ambassador uh, for, for, for Gunner. So t tell me a little bit about uh, the Gunners and, uh, you know, do they, have, do they really actually improve your performance in the game and, and, and your playing? Well, to stay straight up, yes. Uh, it sounds real corny, and I, I know I've gotten a lot of like shit from people on forums and stuff for saying this type of stuff, but I'm just saying honestly what it helps me with. And, you know, there's a lot of technical aspects to it, but when you're playing, it helps your eyes be more comfortable. You're literally less strain on your eyes. Um, another random fact people might not know is it also, like, since it's close up to your eye, creates more humidity there and helps your eye be more... Uh, uh, what would be the word? Uh, moist. Hydrated. Moist, moist. Calm down. Moist. Graduated high school, you know. I, I, uh, appar apparently not with not with good grades, but you yeah. did graduate. No, I actually had pretty good grades. Uh, okay. No, but yeah, it helps in moist. And but for real though, it has really good benefits when you're playing on the the game too. It actually crisps it up a bit. I like how the game looks a lot better on uh, with the gunners on and. There's a lot of little things actually CS players don't know in specific. Like here, we're playing on 75 hertz monitors. When you come to this land, you're, I play on 100 hertz at home. You know, that's the best you can play on. Uh, when I come here, I feel like it helps your eyes adjust actually a lot faster to a uh, lower refresh rate. Well, so that's, that's pretty interesting. So, I mean, can you point to like particular rounds and particular moments that wearing gunners have helped you out? Well, yeah, especially early in tournaments, like when you're getting, like I said, adjusted to the monitors, you have like reaction shots and just darker spots. Maybe you're playing a map like Train. I really think it does help your eyes focus on darker spots where the contrast is shifted. Now, now, have you have you? Heard, I mean, obviously, being on a billboard and, and support of and supporting Gunner, uh, you know, what if what? More supporting WCG and just. That wasn't like directly for Gunner. I was just like, "Yo, I'm a I'm a Gunner user. I'm supporting Gunner because I believe in their product more of like." Well, I gotta say, I gotta say that's I, I respect that much more than you being a corporate shill. But, <laughs> but but I guess, but you know now what what are kind of what are some kind of I guess maybe kind of misconceptions people have about the product that you hear from people kind of you know. I don't know. To me, they kind of look like you're wearing safety fishing glasses when you play Counter Strike. So I mean. Talk to me a little about that. By the way, the, the yellow you see on here kind of goes away after a while. It definitely goes away fairly, really fast. Like, you don't really notice it. You're not like, your world's not all yellow. That's one thing a lot of people think. Uh, another might be, I've said this before, glare. You don't need glare just to wear these. So everyone thinks you just need to have glare. It's like, no, my, I don't. I close my blinds and I still use them. Um, what else would there be? 
with the gunner optics. Oh yeah, like a lot of people think it's gonna be uncomfortable with a headset to wear. That's why the, they have these uh, flat edged rims. I don't know, like they're not that weird to wear. A lot of people just think it's a like glasses. It's gonna be something different. It's gonna be weird. It's actually not. Like it was, it was a little different for me for a moment, but I got used to it pretty fast. And uh, the last thing I could probably think of would maybe be like you could use prescription in them as well. That's pretty badass. A lot of people think oh, I already have glasses. I can't wear them. You can get a prescription and toss them in as well. So. Well, and now I want to pull it back just a little bit and talk a little, close it out with uh, some a little bit more tournament talk here. We've got the Canadian matchup. We've got Area 51 versus Blight right here. Um, what are your What are your thoughts on this matchup? Who are you, Who are you rooting for? Well, I don't think I'm really rooting for either one. I I, uh, I think uh, Area 51 though will take it. I think uh, um, I think Area 51 is a better team overall. Uh, Blight has a ringer on top of not being as experienced in general. So I'm going to say Area 51. We'll take it two maps. Now, um, you, later in this tournament, you're going to play UMX tomorrow. But where do you see your tournament ending up? Which team do you really want to play? Are you, are you kind of concerned about playing anyone? Are you, kind of con are you concerned about playing Backfire? Um, I'm answer truthfully. Answer, answer truthfully. No bullshit. I'm give me... Give me my head concerned isn't really one of them. I mean, I'm not going to say, like, oh, we're just going to stomp them, but um, I've, that's one thing you develop over time is just be confident in yourself. And at this level, I'm confident in myself and my teammates. So I'm excited to play Backfire because they have shown, like, an ex energy and excitement in their play. You know, sometimes you see that in those younger teams. They really want to win, and they have that unique XP3's opper. He's a weird type of aggro opper, and Cody's a good strat caller that a lot of people don't really recognize. So I, I look forward to playing them. Now, how do you feel about this uh, this this lineup of teams here at the ESCA Land Finals? To me, I think this is the strongest set of six teams that that have been in an ESCA Land Final Maybe since the last what was that one good the one with Gravitas and COL. I might say would be better with you remember it had UE and all yeah. those or something. That was like four season three, but yeah, I think it's a good good lineup of teams. I mean, it's fun and I don't know. I, I'm enjoying the event because it's one of the few American things we have left to. Enjoy. ESCA is doing it big. All right. Well, Jordan, thank you very much. And Sir, left hand handshake, maybe. Uh, sir Scoots, give this man a raise for 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 pimping your sponsors. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll be back more for more Counter Strike and ESCA land action later. We got Area 51 versus Blight coming up next, and uh, Dunn and I will be back broadcasting that for you. So uh, thank you guys for paying attention. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.